Hey guys, what's up? This is Sandra from iGeeksBlog.com and I wanted to show you type status which has been updated to 1.1. For those of you who do not know type status, put status bar notifications when someone is sending you an iMessage or when someone has read an iMessage that you sent. Now, to demo it how it works, I'm just gonna show you. See, that is how the status bar notification pops in when someone is typing you an iMessage. You can configure the whole thing and when someone has read uh, your iMessage, this is how it comes up, right? So these are actually cool tweaks. You don't have to have the iMessage application open uh, in order to get these notifications. And this is a very, really easy way to figure out if someone is sending you an iMessage or if someone has read your iMessage. Now, type status 1.1 is not yet available on the Big Boss or Mod by I repos. You need to get it from a private repo. That is what we are gonna show you now. Now, to do this, first open Cydia. And once Cydia is open, go to manage and then go to sources. And then you have to add this particular repo, right? The one I'm gonna tap on. Right, that repo is cydia.hbang.ws. Uh, we've given the link for that repo down in the video description too. You can check that out. Now, once you add that repo, just go into that repo, scroll down, and tap on type status. Make sure it's 1.1 beta 54, and then you just install it, right? I've installed it already. Now, after installing it, you can configure it through settings. Go to settings and then type status. And once in it, you can actually configure a lot of stuff. You can make sure that type status doesn't trigger the notification when you are actually inside the messages application by hiding inside the messages and then you can of course change how it works this is how it works and then you can actually disable this so that you get only the icon which is how it works in the original 1.0 version and then you can also disable status bar overlay for read messages and it doesn't appear right so these are the things you can actually configure and it's a free tweak get it and it's free it uh, works with byte sms also and uh, the developer is actually planning to bring a WhatsApp compatible version too, but that's going to be a paid tweak, something like $1.99. So anyway, this is the tweak. I guess it'll be helpful for you if you are using a lot of iMessages. Thank you.